Hey, Avioners, I'm RBC Olympian Alana Bray Lockheed, and I'm so excited that you've tuned in to the Avion Collection Workout Series. Today, I'll be leading a core and stability activation workout. Let's get started. I'll be taking you through another 30 minute workout to get your body moving at home. So, the workout today will focus on core activation and stability exercises. All of these I incorporate into my workouts when uh, I'm at home or at the gym, and they help me uh, feel balanced when I'm in my boat. So we're gonna start with some warm-up exercises, followed by a circuit of a few of my favorite core routines, and then we'll finish off with some breathing and relaxation techniques. I'm really excited to be with you today, so let's get started. So feel free to turn on your favorite playlist at this point help you keep the tempo up during this whole workout. So we're gonna start with a warm up, and then we're gonna get right into our core routine. So what you're gonna need for today is a mat um, or a free place on your floor. Um, and you can also use a chair if you want or if you need it. Um, some of the exercises use a chair and um, I'll let you know when we get there. So for the warm up and for the core routine, we're going to be going through each exercise twice. Uh, the first time will be to get a feel for it and for you to learn the exercise. And the second time, we'll try and really uh, bring the tempo up uh, so we get a good burn. So for the first uh, warm up, we're going to start with raising our heart rate. So we're going to start with jogging on the spot. Just nice and light. And then we're gonna do some jumping jacks. We're gonna do 10 of those. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go into high knees. So bring your knees up nice and high. Push off right from the ground. Good. Now we're gonna go back and do that one more time. So jog on the spot. That's it. Then jumping jacks. We're going to do 10 of those again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Now right into high knees. That's it. Get those knees up nice and high. Good. So hopefully your heart rate's a little bit elevated now. Now we're going to go into some activation exercises. So these will activate our uh, core and obliques uh, before we get started on the workout. So our activation exercises, uh, we're going to start in a high plank position. So on your two hands with your feet back, if that's a little bit too difficult. Feel free to bring your knees to the ground. And with your hands on the mat, you're going to touch your shoulder on each side, bringing your hands up. So these are called high plank shoulder taps. We're going to do five each side. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Our second activation exercise is going to be on our side. We're going to be laying down and then lifting our leg up to the ceiling. This is going to help activate our glutes. We're going to do that five times again. Two, three, four, five. Great. Now on the other side. And we're going to do five again. Four, five, nice. Now we're gonna do that all one more time. So high plank, shoulder taps, five each side. One, two, three, four, and five. Down to the side, leg raise. So lifting your legs up right to the ceiling, engaging your glutes. Three, four, five. Now switch to the other side. Good. 
three, four, and five. Good work. For our last part of our warm up, we're going to be focusing on mobilization. So, really opening up our chest, our backs, our core. So, the first exercise, you're going to be on your two hands and your knees in a tabletop position. From here, you're going to reach underneath with one arm and with that same arm, lift up to the sky. We're going to do five of those each side. Three, taking nice break, big breaths, four, and five. Now switch to the other side, reaching through and up to the sky. Five again, two, three, four, and five. Our second mobilization exercise, we're going to be up, uh, standing from our feet. Standing from our feet, we're going to hug our knee into our chest and lunge back. So this is going to open up our legs, our hips, and it's also going to help stabilize um, in our core when we bring our leg up. We're going to do five of those each side. Two, three, four, and five. Nice. Now, on the other side, bring your leg up and back for five. Work. Make sure you're getting nice and low when you lunge back. Doing that stretch in your quad. And one more. Good job. We'll do those mobilization exercises one more time now. So from the ground and tabletop, reaching through and up to the ceiling. Five each side. That's it. Hopefully your heart rate's high now. Your body's feeling warm. And five on the other side. Two. Three. Four. And five. Now up again for the quad stretch. Bring your knee up to your chest and back. Five each side. Four, five. Good job. Switch to the other side. One. Two, three, four, and five. Nice work. So that's our warm up. Now we're going to get started on our core workout. So, like I said before, we're going to do one round through and we'll take it a bit slower so you get to really learn each exercise. And then the second round will try and go a little bit faster. So there's five exercises. The way I'll go through each exercise, we'll do 10 reps, then we'll take a little bit of rest, and then we'll do 10 reps again before moving on to the next exercise. And like I said earlier, some of these can be done from the chair, and I'll let you know um, before we get there if you want to do those on the chair. So our first exercise, you're going to start from your elbows in plank position. From there, you're going to go up to your two hands and then back down on your elbows. That counts as one rep. We're going to do 10 of those. Two, three. Make sure you're engaging your core, keeping your back flat. This one really is a good one to start off with. 
That's it. Eight, nine, and 10. Bring your knees down. Good job, everyone. Take a little rest. We're going to do that one again. 10 reps. On your elbows. Let's go. One, two, Seven, that's it guys, almost there. Eight, nine, 10, good job. Our next exercise is from the back, but this can also be done on your chair. I'll show you quickly if you're preferring to be seated. Sit on your chair, you can hold the sides and lean back so your feet are off the ground. This exercise is called sweep on and toe tap. So with your knees up, you're gonna slowly touch your toes to the ground and one each side counts as one rep. If you'd like to do it from the mat, you're gonna start on your back and same idea, keeping your back flat on the floor, engaging your core and obliques. You're gonna slowly lay, lower down your legs and touch your heel. So that's one, two, three. We're gonna do 10 each side. Make sure you keep breathing in and out, nice and deep. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Good work. Take a little rest. And we're gonna do that same exercise again, 10 reps each side, lowering your feet down and keeping your back, your, uh, back nice and flat on the mat. All right, round two, knees up, legs and tabletop. Here we go. One, two, That's it, good work, everyone. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Our next exercise is one that I do a lot. It's uh, really good for kayaking, and it's actually called high boat to low boat. So on your mat, you're going to sit on your bum, knees slightly bent, and you're going to recline your body slightly. You're, from there, you're going to lift your feet up, and this is high boat. From there, you're going to slowly push out your legs, lean back, and that's low boat. Then you're going to come up. That's one rep. So let's do 10 of those. Two. It's almost like half of a crunch. That's it. Nine, 10, good job. That one's a little harder than the other ones. Take a little bit of rest. Now for round two, so start out in high boat and go down to low boat. We're gonna do 10 of those again. One, two, three, nine, 10. Good job, everyone. The next exercise is called kayak twist. So staying in the same position, you're gonna be on your bum with your legs out. And if you want, you can keep your heels on the floor or you can lean back and bring your heels off the floor. That'll make it more difficult. From there, you're gonna slowly twist to the side and then slowly twist to the other side. And you can tap your fingers on each side. 
For this exercise, you can also do it on the chair if you'd like. So sitting down and you can either keep your feet on the floor and twist or to make it a little harder, bring your legs up and twist to each side of the chair. So wherever you're doing this exercise, let's get ready. We're gonna do 10 reps each side. All right, let's get going. Two, three, four, five. Make sure you're getting nice rotation, touching the ground each side. Nine and 10, good job. Take a little bit of rest, grab some water if you need it. And we'll do that one more time, 10 reps each side. All right, one. Three, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work, everyone. Now we're on to our last exercise before we go through everything again. This one is from standing. This one really works on your stabilizer muscles. So you might not feel it as much in your core, but it's really good for balance, um, whether you're on the water, in the boat, or just generally in life. So this one is called single leg RDL. You can do it without a chair, or if you'd like for the first time, you can hold on to the back of your chair for a little bit of balance. So putting all your weight on one foot, you're gonna lift your other foot slightly and Lean forward, trying to keep your hips in one straight line, engaging your core for balance, and then coming back up. That's one, we're gonna do five each side. Two, and see how far you can get. Maybe on this set, you're only going down a couple inches, but on the next set, you go down so your back's as flat as a table. And five. Good job. We're gonna to switch to the other side now. So plant your foot, raise your other foot, and go. One, two. Don't worry if you lose your balance, just come back, center yourself, and go again. Three, four, and five. Nice work, everyone. So that's our five exercises. We just went through one round. Now we're gonna go through it one more time and we're gonna really pick up the pace. So we'll still take that little bit of rest in between each 10 reps, um, but we'll move on to the, each exercise right away. And so hopefully you get a good burn, your heart rate's pumping by the end of this workout. So starting on your mat again, we're gonna start with our elbow plank up downs. All right, ready? 10, one, two, three, four, five. That's it, guys. Keep it up. Eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Take a few seconds rest, grab some water if you need it. And we'll do that exercise one more time. All right, let's go. Round two, elbows down for 10 reps. One. Five. Six, seven, eight, that's it, you're almost there. Nine and 10, good job. We're gonna go straight into our supine toe taps. You can do this on a chair if you want, but laying on our back, legs up to tabletop and touch those heels, 10 each side. 
two. That's it, make sure you're keeping your back nice and flat on the mat, not too much movement. That's it. Eight, nine, 10. Good job. Take a quick rest. Big breath. We're going to do that again. This one is really helpful. I said to make sure your back's flat on the mat. Really think about that, engaging your core, breathing into the mat. So 10 reps again. Let's go. One, two, Take nice big breaths while doing this one. That's it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Nice work, everyone. From here, we're going back to our kayak, high boat to low boat. So sitting on your bums evenly, leaning back slightly, feet off the ground, high boat, low boat. And give me 10 of those. Eight, nine, 10. Good job, everyone. That one's a hard one. Take a few seconds rest, big breath. Grab some water if you need it. We're gonna do that one more time. Try and get through all 10 without taking a break. All right, ready and go. Five. Eight, nine, and 10, good job. From here, we're gonna go back to our kayak twist. So same position, you can also go on your chair if you'd like. Sitting on your bum, bring up your feet or keeping them on the mat if you'd like and rotating once each side. And we're gonna go for 10, so one. That's it guys. We're almost there. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good work. Take a little bit of break, deep breaths. Maybe lean back to stretch out your core. And we're gonna do that kayak twist one more time. All right. 10 more reps, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Ooh, good job, everyone. Now our last exercise. We're gonna come up from our mat, take a little bit of a break, deep breaths. We're gonna go into our single leg RDLs. So calm your breathing down, grab, go on two feet flat, and then slowly shift your weight to one leg, lift the other leg up and go forward. Feel free to use your chair if you want for balance. See if you can go a bit lower than last time. See if you can get your back nice and flat, like the floor. And we're gonna do five of those each side. Think about tensing your core muscles right from the side up to the front. That'll help stabilize you in this position. And now switch. We're gonna go to the other side, five reps. This is the last exercise of the workout, so let's make sure it's good. Solid on one, on one foot, bring your other foot up and back. Try and even go a little bit slower. 
more time in that balance one leg position. That's awesome, guys. You're doing really well. This one looks easy, but it's quite difficult, especially when you're trying to balance. Maybe you're not holding onto your chair. And five reps of those. Four. One more. And five. That's awesome, guys. Good work. We went through two rounds of those, and I know, I don't know about you, but I feel a burn. My heart rate's going. I feel really good. So we're gonna finish off today with a little bit of breathing and relaxation. I like to finish my workout with this, um, whether I'm doing a paddle or a weight session. So find a place on your floor or your mat where you have lots of space. You can bring your feet out in front of you, sit cross-legged or just kneel. You can grab some water if you want before. And then I want you to slowly close your eyes and try and slow your breathing down. Try and bring your heart rate back down where it was when we started. And then take a few big deep breaths. Make sure you're breathing into your whole diaphragm, into your whole core that we just worked. Good, we're gonna do something that I like to call box breathing. So you're gonna breathe in for four, hold for four, and then out for four and hold for four. So you're gonna breathe just like a box. So I'll lead you through one and then we can do that for a couple breaths. Really just relax before we go on to the rest of our work day. So breathe in for four. Hold, out for four, and hold for four. Do that a couple more times. One more time, in for four. Out for four. All right. That's everything for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, we'll be sure to make a replay of today's workout available for anyone who may be interested. Make sure you tune in again next week as my fellow RBC Olympian, Team Canada athlete, um, and para-athlete Amanda Remery will be taking your workout to the next level. You all did really great today, and I'm really excited for you to learn more workouts and incorporate them into your routine.